Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our discussion of the synthesizer functions in Soundtrap. So we've got our Soundtrap project that we've been working on and in the previous video we talked about the oscillators and how to set that and we talked about the filters, what they are, and how to set the adjustments here. So here is the sound that we have created thus far. So now we want to talk about the amplitude envelope. This is the envelope that uh, uh, actually controls um, what the shape of the volume of the sensitizer note does. So the attack phase like we talked about in the filter, is how fast the volume of the synthesizer goes from no volume to its peak volume. How fast does that ramp up? And then how slowly does it decay to the point that you've set the sustain? So the attack is a speed adjustment, often adjusted in milliseconds. The decay is a speed adjustment, often adjusted in milliseconds. And then the sustain is actually here a volume adjustment. So how loud do you want that synthesizer to sit? Finally, the release is how long the note lasts after you let go of the key. So let's play with the attack setting right quick. What if we don't want it to just turn on? We want it to bloom. So hopefully you heard right there that it actually, especially the underneath part, underneath the filter, actually grew over time. That low frequency, it really grows in on that. And then maybe we want the delay to happen a lot, decay to happen a lot faster. You know how fast that low sound went away this time? Then we'll actually adjust the attack filter on the filter out. So you get a little more effect here. So there's the attack and the decay. You can set it to be faster. Now that's a pretty low sustain. So if I want the sustain volume to be higher, I can turn up the sustain. The attack and decay happened, but it sustained at a louder volume. Again, a more blooming note. There it reached its peak. Now it's decaying to the sustain point. And then finally, the release. So you can see when I actually let go of the key and how long it takes for the sound to stop. If I turn that down, the sound goes away instantly. If I turn it up, And I let go of the key it keeps going for a long time so that is the amplitude envelope I hope this video has helped explain the amplitude envelope if you uh, would leave a thumbs up for the like button or subscribe to the channel if you've not already